Today we're going to be adding and subtracting polynomials. We're going to be combining some of the things that we did yesterday um, with naming them and identifying what a polynomial is. So today we're going to be combining like terms for adding. And when we're subtracting, we're just needing to make sure that we're distributing the negative. Um, and then it's just combining like terms like an addition question. So we're going to look at three of these together. And then we're going to have you try a couple on your own. So let's actually just look at one of these at a time. So here for these questions, we're going to add or subtract the polynomials depending on what symbols in between them. And then we're going to name our answer based on degree and number of terms. So it's bringing back in the information that we talked about previously. So here we have the quantity 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3. And we're adding, because there's a plus sign in the middle here, we're adding the quantity x cubed minus 3x squared plus x. So here, when we're adding, the parentheses don't matter for things. So we would have 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3. Because, and the reason why I say they don't matter is here there's a 1 in front of this. And if we distribute that positive 1 in, um, it's not going to change the signs of anything. Same thing goes for out from here. So now we're needing to look at what's like terms to combine and they need to be in standard form so that means that we need to look for the highest exponent first so here we have 2x to the third and x to the third and when we combine those together we get 3x to the third and so those are already taken care of our next set to look at would be the x squareds Okay, those x squared, so we have negative 4x squared and negative 3x squared. When we combine those together, we get negative 7x squared. And last, oh, not last, sorry. We have this x would go next, and it doesn't have anybody to combine with, so we put plus x. And last but not least, we've got this 3 here that has no variable with it. So then that would be plus 3. So there is our answer of this, or the sum of this addition question. Now we have to name this based on degree and number of terms. So our highest exponent here is 3. That means that this is cubic. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms, which means this is a polynomial. And you could say cubic polynomial of four degrees, or of four terms, um, or a cubic four-term polynomial, or just leave it as cubic polynomial is 100% fine. Okay, so moving on here, we have the quantity 3x squared minus 5x minus the quantity x squared plus 4x minus 3. So here, this first parenthesis, well, we're subtracting in between these. That's good to remember. Um, and here in front of this parenthesis, there's a positive 1. So in this first parenthesis, nothing's going to change. We're going to leave it just the way it is. In the second parenthesis, there's a negative 1 in front of the parenthesis, which means we need to distribute that negative 1. Well, a negative 1 times neg uh, x squared would be negative x squared. And negative 1 times positive 4x is negative 4x. And last, negative 1 times negative 3 is a positive 3. So what did that subtraction sign do to the terms inside that parentheses after it? Well, it changed the signs of all of them. If they were positive, they became negative. And if it was negative, it became positive. So that's one thing we got to watch out for as we go. All right. So now we're going to actually combine like terms. So we're starting with our highest exponent, which would be the squareds. So 3x squared minus x squared would give us 2x squared. Next would be our x's. So negative 5x minus 4x is a negative 9x. And then our plus 3, that's got nobody to combine with, so we would just put plus 3. Now that we have this here, we're going to name it. Remember, we always name based on degree first. That's the highest exponent. So here's 2. That highest exponent of 2 means that this is quadratic. 
And then there are one, two, three terms. So this is a quadratic trinomial is our answer here. All right, let's take a look at one more. So here we have the quantity 2x minus 3 minus the quantity x minus 4 plus the quantity x plus 2. So we're going to um, add or subtract, or in this case both. Here we have subtraction, here we have addition. So order of operations tells us that we just do them in the order that they happen, um, reading from left to right. So first parenthesis here has got a positive 1, we can leave that alone, 2x minus 3. Second parenthesis has a negative in front of it. So that negative is going to distribute in and change anything that's positive to negative or anything that's negative to positive. And then we are also going to just leave this last parenthesis the same because it has a positive one in front of it. So now we're going to combine our like terms. So this time we have three different x terms to look at. So 2x minus x is 1x plus another x is 2x. Or you could have noticed that those x's are going to go away with each other. Okay, they would cancel. And then we're looking at our constant terms. So negative 3, positive 4, positive 2. So negative 3 and a positive 4 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So here we would have 2x plus 3. And then the last step is to name this. So we um, are looking for the highest exponent. Well, if it doesn't have an exponent here, what is that? So that exponent is a 1, which means this is a linear. It has two terms, so a linear binomial. So in this process, we're going to remember to, um, if we're dealing with addition, we can just combine the like terms. Okay. If it's subtraction, you need to make sure to distribute that negative into everything that comes after it. So this time we've got a couple of you try it questions. Okay. So with these questions then, uh, I would encourage you to pause the video at this point and actually try these questions. And then here are your answers. So there's your answer for the first one, 3x to the fourth minus 5x cubed minus 4x squared plus 7. So that would be a, uh, sorry, a quartic polynomial, if you named that. And then the second one, you would get an answer of negative 7x squared plus 7x minus 4. And that would be a quadratic trinomial. So hopefully you got those two you try it questions correct and that's it